Hey, Edgelords, thanks so much for tuning in on your internet tuner. Uh, we want you to hit subscribe. Isn't that right, Robbie? That's right. That way you'll get the episodes as they come out every single Wednesday. You need it and you want it. Woo! Buckle up! Everybody. Here it comes! It's time. Get your helmets on for the Edge Lords! Okay, we are we are uh, we've yeah. had our our flavored sodas. <laughs> our, they our were just the soda water ones. Flavored seltzers. There was, a, there was no sugar, just pure zero seltzer. cows. <laughs> no cows, no taste. No cows, no taste. Uh, no fun. <laughs> that is what we that perfectly describes. Yes, uh, Lacroix. Lacroix. But no, these are, are these are. Bu- Bubbly, bubbly, yeah, bubbly. These are yes. off-brand. Look, they're not sponsoring us. Get them out of here. Oh, Get yeah, these right. bubblies out yeah, of there. That's right. Yeah, good point by you. Uh, but this is a big episode today. We have a big guest. We have a very big guest. Uh, um, Nate Bargatze. Yes. Yes. Super exciting. Uh, we'll have him later in the show. Well, I. Uh, how are you doing? How is? How are you feeling this week? This week in edging. Uh... I'm good, Graham. Thank oh, good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm well. I'm well. It's been, uh, I don't know, I, kind of uneventful. I, I, what's been going on? It's, it's warm weather. That's nice. I've been going outside a little bit. I'm glad you finally started going outside. You haven't been outside in six months. It's been six months, yes. Yeah. yeah I, uh, so I, and I had to go to a doctor's appointment because I've gotten scurvy in mm-hmm. the pandemic. Uh, they said I need some sunlight and vitamins. Right. You weren't eating any uh, any oranges or anything no, or limes nothing luckily my uh doctor specializes in uh, pirate sicknesses in pirate sicknesses yes, yes. yeah and he, uh so whenever i go there he's, he's only, just got a saw and a bunch of hooks <laughs> yeah <laughs> and his only diagnosis is scurvy yeah. it's always scurvy. scurvy that's the only one he cut knows. it off <laughs> uh yeah but he's great he's the only one my insurance will take so no i, I i'm fine what, what insurance is that uh, it is uh, a uh, Obamacare uh, eye patch edition. It's called. Oh yes, it's it's below bronze. <laughs> yes, it's eye patch. A, yes, Obamacare eye patch. And, yes, uh, no visual. It works for me. It's yeah, really. There's no no eyewear. Um, no, no, no. Vi- vision not, is not covered. Not covered. Uh, no, it actually only covers uh, scurvy, covers eye patches, scurvy, and erectile dysfunction, <laughs> and then everything else is your out of pocket. Just uh, a. A blind guy losing his teeth with just a rock hard boner. Rock hard dick. Yeah, that's the clientele that com- comes in and out of that doctor's <laughs> yeah, office. It sure is. Yeah, we'll have to pull those teeth and uh... <laughs> <laughs> and make this man erect. Yeah, make this man erect. <laughs> I'm a weird doctor. <laughs> I am a weird guy, <laughs> but I like it. It's a living. It works for me. It works for it me. It works if you work it. You know what I'm saying? I only I get most of my business at ports. <laughs> <laughs> get a lot of dock workers you are technically uh living in a port town new york city sure yeah yeah so it makes sense that you have scurvy and i live along the river yeah i did just watch master and commander so i know a lot you know a lot about this about that uh, yeah stuff great movie what an epic uh it was a russell crow it was a russell crow o- ocean gladiator right? yeah, yeah ocean Basically. gladiator yeah. yeah that was the original title yes Ocean Gladiator. Yeah. I never saw it. Gladiator? No, Gladiator I saw four, I, four times little, in theaters. Little joke. Uh, Master and Commander, highly underrated, great movie. I read something that it was really good, and then it was like, it's like on Amazon Prime, uh-huh. and then I watched it. It was rad. Well, guys, go check out Master and Commander <laughs> on Amazon Prime. <laughs> I'm not sure what we're doing here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but, but look if we can show for russell crowe if, if we can give him the boost he needs uh i'm happy to do it <laughs> no one's listening anymore no 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 we lost him we're doing a we're doing a hard restart basically well we want we, we we tried to be edgy folks we tried so <laughs> we hard we really tried we tried our best <laughs> we lasted and, uh, six episodes we seven episodes couldn't do it selling a, a 2002 russell crowe movie that's on <laughs> amazon prime to you <laughs>
Well, what the fuck else is going on? What else is happening? Well, I I uh, booked a, a trip to Miami with my girlfriend. That's now we're talking. That's a big step in a relationship, yeah. I would say. Yes, big. Oh, first uh, couples trip. First for you. couples trip, and you picked Miami. Miami, yeah. welcome to Miami. Yes. I'm gonna keep saying that Say when that I get there. People love it. They, they love, love it. it. Hello, <laughs> Miami. Bienvenido. Yeah. Bienvenido. And then they're gonna love it. They will um, love you. Yeah. Uh. So yeah. Though I, I I we're look at that. We got like a cool hotel. We got cheap flights. We're both gonna be fully vaxxed. Fully by that vaxxed point. is that's the best. That's fully the that's vaxxed. the best part of this whole story. Fully vaxxed. Yeah. Can you believe it? But if there was anywhere where. Uh, the virus can beat the vaccine. It's Miami. Florida. There's so many strains. Sure there's so many strains down there. Real hornet's nest of strains <laughs> down there. You're really, you're putting this vaccine to the test immediately. <laughs> I should tell Pfizer. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Where I'm going and what I'm about to do there. <laughs> yeah, you should. This is a clinical trial. You got Ebola. They got the Brazilian strain is mixing with the <laughs> Nebraska strain down there. We don't know what's happening. <laughs> Zika latched on to it somehow. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going there. We're gonna, you know, do couple stuff and uh, and and drink a bunch. I've I've already told my girlfriend that uh, I am going to gain 15 pounds this uh, spring. How long? Oh, this spring, not just in Miami. No. Okay. I'm gonna be like one of those. I'm mean like a top. Like as soon as like I get my second vaccine and uh, and then it kicks in two weeks later i'm yeah. just gonna be like uh, you're going that second vaccine yeah, yeah. just uh, over over the over the ridge uh, that's what people are going to be hearing next door in miami at their in their hotel room they're going to hear you and they might be having some sort of lewd latin sex with Ooh. slapping and screaming and uh and uh female pleasure yes oh disgusting yeah it should be very latin when the banned. female likes it oh yes when the female like <laughs> yeah. they call that yes latin yeah. love i don't like that yes no i like good old-fashioned protestant no one has a good time so that, yes that's yes. why they don't have a good economy in those latin countries because they're too busy pleasuring women they're pleasuring each other yes. they're pleasuring women uh Right. That's why, like, the, the they're not getting anything the done. The banking capital of the world is Switzerland because no one's coming in Switzerland. No one's coming. No one in ever has. All children are made in labs. Yes. Well, yeah, it's. <laughs> Look. <laughs> the women aren't, at the very least. All and children in Switzerland made in laboratories. Made in laboratories. Yes. 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 Next to, they make chocolate and they make people. They're made by clockmakers. No one has ever had sex yes. there. I, I it's uh let me tell you something that well they, they, that's what lederhosen are for it's just so you can unbutton the front <laughs> uh-huh. take out your genitals yes and then it's a very business be, be it's clothed all, it's a transaction it's a transaction yes um and so yeah and that's why their economies are bad uh, it's because <laughs> you don't have to work hard because you're going to have fun because you know you're how to, you know how to do sex right properly yeah no that makes sense and that's so that's why you think like western europe and America has uh, dominated the globe for a couple hundred years because of the no lack of play. sex. No foreplay. No foreplay. Yeah. So that's time. We're getting back. That's time right back. We're getting back. Women aren't satisfied. Uh-huh. They're motivating us because they're angry. Yes. Okay. That makes sense. That's a, This is a theory. Yeah. We think we're satisfied. We're not really until you like do it. I mean, you listen to a Latin person have sex. It's everyone. It's a ball. How often do you listen to Latin people have sex? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> not unlike you. Uh, when I check into a hotel, I yeah. say, do you have any uh, people, uh, uh, yes. any couples? Yes. And um, Can you put me next to the Gonzalez room, please? I, and then I, but I ask, are there any Latin couples? Uh-huh. And I say, oh, say, I say, oh, you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, are there any Latin couples? <laughs> And how does that get treated by the uh, by the hotel? Uh, I tell staff? you what, they don't like it, especially if they're Latin. <laughs> they seem to they get offended. They, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, they get quite offended. Yeah. Um, but uh, here's the thing. Uh, I I throw down a couple extra dollars. I, oh, I bring okay. a wad of Canadian cash. <laughs> okay, so a couple loonies. Uh, yeah, I have a satchel. Throw, satchel I have a loonies. crown royale <laughs> purple satchel of loonies. And I slam that down. Uh huh. And I say, listen, listen here. Uh-huh. My Mediterranean friend. I've traveled a long way from Ottawa to be here. Listen <laughs> here. And I would like to be placed next to two of your finest Latin people. Mm. 
Because I would like to listen to them. I have a suitcase full of listening devices. (laughs) (laughs) Old Cold War listening devices. (laughs) And an Enigma machine. An Enigma machine. (laughs) Where I try and I try and crack the female orgasm. <laughs> Still working on it. Yeah. Any day now. <laughs> and that's what I do. And uh, and it's, every once in a blue moon, I'll get in there yeah. and, uh, and I'll listen to some Latin sex. And that's it. <laughs> that's a great trip. I can, I'm excited for your trip to Miami, and I'm excited. I think you're uh, for your girlfriend to experience you. Listening, uh, listening to Latin, to Latin sex uh, as she's confusedly stares at you, I think is really going to be a good It's time. for research. <laughs> I'm working on a project. I'm working. <laughs> Women. You're distracting me from my science. It's time for, to make some money off one of our sponsors. Oh, yes. Time to make money I almost off forgot. Of, we got a big ad today. Very excited big about sponsor. it. Big sponsor. I think our first sponsor from the tech world. Yes. Tech is uh, huge. Booming. Yes. Booming. Tesla, Bitcoin, IBM, uh, TDK, Micros- Microsoft, Maxwell. Maxwell. Yes, they make cassette tapes. Compact Presario. Yes, Compact Presario is a good one. Uh, oh, Maxwell, yes. Sega Dreamcast. Sega Dreamcast. TurboGrafx-16. Betamax. These things are flying off the shelves. Uh, and so we have a, a sponsor from the tech world. Uh, Listen, if you're listening to this podcast, you probably found us on the dark web. And if you're like us, you don't take any guff from globalists or big corporations. And that's why Hewlett Packard and Verizon have teamed up to make HPVPN. HPVPN is the only online privacy solution offering a no arrest guarantee. And our lawyers have time to focus on you because they just lost their only client, Jeffrey Epstein. That's right. So before you browse the most extreme corners of the internet, of the intellectual dark web, be sure to sign up for HPVPN. And use the promo code, I want HPV, to get a lifetime deal you can't get rid of. It's there forever. Are we ready for a guest? I think we are. Um, Very excited for this guest. Um... I, I uh, one of my favorite comedians, straight up, all jokes aside. And one so of the best funny. comics working today. I, I agree. We are here uh, with uh, a good friend of mine, old friend of mine, and one of the best comedians in the world, uh, Nate Bargatze. Nate Bargatze, yeah. everybody. Thank you. Guess yeah. Lord. Welcome, yeah. Daddy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Happy to have you. Thank you for being here, Thank Nate. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so basically what we're going to do off the top is what we do with all of our guests is try and figure out how edgy you are. Um, And what we're going to do is ask you a bunch of questions. And at the end of that, we're going to reward you. uh, We have a grading system of one to five kettlebells. Okay. And, and you want five. Five is the best. Five, five is kettlebells. Do y'all work out a lot? Is that why it's kettlebells? Or is it just... Is obviously. Kettlebells like working out, right? It's, yeah. It's almost insulting yeah. that you ask. Maybe your webcam is blurry or something, but like clearly it, it we're could be. two yeah. dudes who are very much well, in shape. We're shredded. I know Graham. I've seen Graham with no shirt on, and uh, Graham's got a mannequin body. <laughs> yeah. And that's how... It's because we, we went shopping, and Graham just... He can just buy whatever. He just goes, yeah, that shirt's good. It's whatever. And he puts it on. It just works. It's like a child, like the way a child puts on a shirt. (laughs) Where it it just doesn't matter. You know, they can just wear. They're not like, well, you know, my nipples are fat and stuff. Yeah, the the neck hole is definitely stretched out on that shirt. I don't know if you can tell, but it's been, uh, that head's got to get through that shirt. I've got a bit of a, I got a big melon. Yeah. But I, uh, it's not as, it's. That was a number of years ago. Things have changed for the worse. Not that much. Okay. I mean, I they, 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 take it off, Graham. <laughs> All right. just, I think the people want to know. They got. <laughs> they, they should know. Just the denim jacket, no shirt, would you be know, a great look for you. I would, but for me personally, um, seated with the camera lower is not my best yeah. angle for my shirt off. Well, yeah, you know. it's not a good angle for your hair either, but you yeah. know, you know, <laughs> <and> so, <laughs> I have a very delicate, like comb, comb, like, like brushing situation. Every, it's like one strand is out of the way. It, it, I have to do enough to the side, but not too much. Cause then it gets thin here. 
And so it's... We actually spent two and a half hours before we yeah, tape getting yeah. every hair in just the right place. I showed up here at three o'clock. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. All right. Are we ready to do an edgy lightning round? Yes. Edgy, edgy light, lightning round. It's electric. All right. Uh, so <laughs> I'll do... You know I would make money on this podcast except for all that stuff. You got to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we spent this. thousands of dollars. You're on. like, yeah, you're like, I mean, if we just got rid of that edgy <laughs> light thing, we would be millionaires right now. <laughs> and we, all, yeah, we also spent $5,000 to get that made. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's... Some, some people say it's not the best. But uh, anyway, so... Uh, first off, Nate Bargassi, what is your favorite drug? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't really do any, uh, not so, off to a super edgy start. No, but even without doing them, if not, you had, if you had to pick a favorite, you don't have to do them. You can be? still have a favorite one. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know what would be. I guess, you know, cocaine would be. <laughs> okay. Wow, you dove right in. You went from yeah. nothing to going, we're diving in deep. I mean, okay, I, mean. I feel like if you're going to do them, we might as well go get up there. You know? I saw it on a movie. Yeah. It seemed neat. Yeah, if you're yeah. going to go crazy, might as well. Yeah, I know. like that. I like there's no gateway drugs for Nate. He's no. Just, he's way past the gateway. No. Blew by it. Straight to well, you cocaine. Know, there is, there's a lot of that where you see it's like if someone's like, "Are right, you going to do it? Just do it." Like you know, where they yeah. they go yeah. to the next. If you're so, if you're going to go do it, you're like might as well go do it. You know, I'm and, with you. Uh, see what that's about. A lot of a lot of comedians with long successful careers have made that have thought the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how you get to those late shows. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> and fast. fast. Um, All right. Next one? Favorite cigarette brand. Uh. I mean, I'd probably just Marlboro. Marlboro? Is that how you say it? Like <laughs> yeah. just a, I mean, you uh, said it like Marlboro. probably how they... Yeah, it's you not said how it the spelled. way it was intended to be said, yeah. for sure. Yeah. 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 Marble. <laughs> it's the, the people that are buying it, Marble. Marble. <laughs> some, mar some Marble Reds. Yeah. Probably Marble Reds just because those are, you know, it's like kind of a cowboy. Yeah. I feel like people that like, pronounce it that way, uh, pronounce it Marble, they, saying red is redundant. Yeah, it's just like assumed, and if you say no one has ever said already grabbed reds, and then before they go red, yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, red is implied, and it's a carton. You're getting a whole carton. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is your favorite alcohol? Uh, I don't drink anymore, but it was uh, it was uh, beer. Just you know, I was always uh, I mean, I liked IPAs. I got I was I, I thought those were pretty fun. Uh, Marlboro Red yeah. and Beer, it's pretty classic. Yeah. Pretty classic American combo. I like it. The IPA That's was like a, a IPA's a little IPA's a little fruity. Would a hipster be that? A Marlboro Red IPA. It's kind of a balance of both. I, the IPA is very hipstery. It is. Marlboro yeah. Red is uh pure cowboy. Pure I know, but that isn't that what like hipster is like kind of that you gotta pick a cool thing from like an old you know, it's like uh you got some nice tight jeans on. Got that jacket on, smoking marble. You know, when you have mar you ask someone to ask for your cigarette, you give them marble red. They're like, they, yeah. you want the person if they ask something for me to be like, oh, I'm all right. I see you know, where you're like, going, but I think hipsters, and I'll include myself, on, you know, under that umbrella, are generally weak, and marble reds are. If everything's for pretend. Oh, you know what see, I, mean? I think it's Rumble a bunch of like, actually hurt your throat. I feel like real. it's a bunch of strong choices. That's like what makes a hip. You're making a big choice, you know. That's true. Marlboro yeah. Red and an IPA. I, to me, that feel. I don't know. Uh, all right, all right two you to gotta one. give them one or the other, and so they're the IPA. They're going. Well, I'm gonna stick with IPA, but Marlboro Reds. So you have to make a choice. So you either go drink, but you know, Coors. Yeah. And then smoke, you know, spirits. Are you do Marble Red and IPA? Well, um, you you yeah. really want five kettlebells. You're, you're I've never heard seen anyone argue. <laughs> he's yeah. Yeah. yeah he's making a case here. Yeah, he's really making a case. <laughs> he's making a case. Really case wants it, it, and I respect it. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's like the cocaine. If we're doing this, I'm gonna do it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, Nate. Uh, truck or coupe? Um, probably truck. You know, I I've, I've never had a truck, but I've I've been like lately. I'm like kind of like I think about a truck a lot more than I ever did, so uh, you know, I, I truck trucks are just I like them. I don't like them real big. I don't want them jacked yeah. up. You know, 
uh, but I mean, trucks are getting insane and they're as nice as some of them, you know, it looks like a Mercedes on the inside. Like they're just yeah. super nice and, uh, you know, throwing stuff in the back, you know, I don't think I have a lot of stuff to throw in the back, but I think no one does. Yeah. Not one person with a truck it. has ever thrown anything in the back. Yeah. Trucks are kind of, everybody the... likes a truck friend though. Th- that's yeah. true. You, you got, got a buddy it, but, that has but you a hate truck. to be the yeah. truck friend because mm. you're just helping people move all the time. Trucks that have kind true. of a mullet thing going now where it's like an office in the front construction guy in the that's back. That's funny. You know, yeah. they've like, they've really yeah. shifted that yeah. way. That's actually, it's good. like real money. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's like, yeah, it's like, I mean, it's a real business and like guys are like, yeah, there's guys driving trucks that are worth, you know, a hundred million dollars and they just have, just a bunch of junk in the back. Yeah, yeah. That's just, yeah. That yeah. inside is yeah. like super nice. Yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a working class uh, guy. I'm a man of the people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. just pristine. <laughs> yeah. Like that's a, truck yeah, that's bed. what they always think with the truck. They always say that, and you're like, that truck's ninety thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You're not, it's got four you know, TVs like, in it. Yeah, you're not fooling me because you threw on a Carhartt jacket yeah. or whatever. <laughs> Nate Bargatze, what is your favorite Taylor Swift song? Uh. Um, uh, it's a pretty edgy question. Blank, blank, blank space. Uh, good right choice. Now, good choice. Probably that one. Yeah. Good choice. Uh, I like Long to me was another one. I loved a lot of, a lot of the older stuff. I mm-hmm. uh, was a big Taylor Swift fan. Uh, blank space. I like a lot. And that was the one, you know, I don't really know what it's about, but it's <laughs> catchy. It's, uh, seems, I enjoy it. Seems ambiguous by title. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah. Well, yeah. our, it don't yeah, I, we like we knew that you are Taylor Swift Swift fan. We 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 put our interns uh they did the research and uh I'm glad it all worked out. You ever sometimes yeah. you don't like realize yeah. you like I got a email from Spotify that was like yeah. Sia's going to be in town and you're a huge Sia fan. And you're like am I? I yeah. didn't realize but I guess I'm listening to a fuck ton of Sia on Spotify. Yeah, you should admit that on this podcast. Yeah, it's weird that they're yeah, you're right. We'll edit yeah, that out. I mean weird. as far as the yeah, being edgy. Yeah. I mean it seems it's uh, I like that. Uh, there's the, that new driver license song. That, uh, oh, Libya. it's a great song. Yeah, it's really I mean, good. It's, uh, it's the best. It is kind of edgy though. Sia is now edgy because she got in trouble for what? Uh, for making that movie about mentally handicapped people and not hiring mentally handicapped actors. I didn't even know Sia did that. It was a, huge, made a movie. Yeah, she made a movie. It's a huge thing. Uh huh. Yep. She's real edgy. She hates mentally handicapped people. <laughs> Get that. She wants them read dead. A, uh, read a Harry Potter book. You know, yeah. Is that, uh, what's her face? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. JK Rowling. Rowling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and edgy. Then, that's edgy. Cause yeah, she, yeah. She just, she's pro women. She mm-hmm. really has just a billion. She's got a billion dollars, and then once every month, she's like, "I'm gonna fight the internet today." Yeah, I'm bored. Yeah. I might as well take on the entire internet. I'm gonna write a lot, but in <laughs> yeah. small amounts. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think you're next. I'm next. Uh, Nate, what is your best tattoo? And you have to have one. Uh, I don't. And if you did, what's your you, ideal tattoo? What would you get? You know, it'd probably be something Vanderbilt. I would have probably done that a long time ago. Made a big Vandy fan, uh, or Titans, you know, uh, but I would go anti-tattoo as edgy as being, everybody's got tattoos. tattoo. Sure. So mm-hmm. I don't. And that's now, I mean, the edge is, has been moved to be everybody get a tattoo people got a million of them Mm -hmm. so now i mean a scarier guy to be a guy that you're like he has no tattoos he has absolutely nothing to celebrate he's a psychopath so if you've nothing to celebrate (laughs) you've waited long enough that now the edge has come to you Mm -hmm. you've brought the edge to you Mm -hmm. i brought it to me you sit around and wait and then i don't want any markings to get caught by the cops oh very edgy yeah Wow. Super edgy. All right. I'm yeah. going to write I'm going to. Yeah. 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 No. I mean, I'm gonna make yeah, he's got that. a butterfly tattoo on his, uh, right above his, <laughs> <laughs> on his side of his neck. Yeah. Like, oh. He's got his daughter's birthday, uh, on his nose. And they're like, oh, we got him. We, we got, him. got him. Yeah. We you got this guy. Mean? That guy. Yeah, I mean, the butterfly have, murderer. Like, <laughs> yeah. The butterfly <laughs> murderer <laughs> with, uh, a, a, a girl's name and birth date on his nose. <laughs> that's a power combo. Mm-hmm. And that's a real, when you become a dad, you get it. You still can be a psycho, but you, you love your daughter. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> yeah, you got to respect that. Yeah, you want to kill other women, but you love your daughter. <laughs> but not your own. Yeah. Your daughter, yeah. Not your own. Um, Nate Bergazzi, who would you rather fight? Colonel Sanders, Ronald McDonald, 
or Wendy? Uh, Colonel Sanders probably just old, you know, and it would be, I think it would just be easy. I think it'd be easy work. Yeah. You know? Yes. I don't know if you'd have to even have to lay a punch down. He was in the military. Uh, he has military training. No, he's a, he's a Kentucky colonel. It's a, it? There's no military. It's just like a state title that they give, uh, you know. Uh, it's even even better. Yeah. Even better. So he has, Ronald McDonald has been sitting on that bench for a while, and he's furious. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. The, have you ever touched him? He is rock hard. <laughs> he's, rock hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And and Wendy, uh, I mean, you know, I think her dad died, and she's just been through a lot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. When he's got, and then, and yep. Getting it's just, a, it's just too much. Getting beat up by a clown would be it's just too embarrassing as well. Mm-hmm. You bet. You take your chances with the old. I'd rather get beat up by an old man than a clown if I had to lose. Yeah. Personally. Well. Yeah. yeah. Are you okay. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Nate. Favorite way to shred your bod. Um, you know, just, uh, you know, keto, <laughs> I don't do it, but it's, you know, I think that's, that would be, you're going to say you're on keto. Yeah. Or you can go back and say you're on Atkins now. It's no one does Atkins. They go keto and go, yeah. I do Atkins. And it's basically the same thing. Yeah. Uh, you just, or you want to just say whatever no one else is saying. That's what I saying. I Atkins when people say keto instead of keto is edgy, I think. Uh, yeah, for yeah. sure. It, that guy died of a heart attack. That yeah. guy died. I mean, mm-hmm. t- telling you everyone. You still do it. You still do it. <laughs> knowing yeah. that the leader of it yeah. Yeah. couldn't handle it. No. Just and all fat. Go, yeah, there's nothing edgier yeah. than eating only red meat. Three meals a day, just red meat. That's a power move. People know you mean business. Yeah, you can't be vegan. You can't be, you know, you got to... You got to bring your own jerky. You go to a vegan restaurant. You yeah. bring, your own, bring some. It's B- Is this place BYOJ? Uh, yeah. Go to a vegan restaurant, bring your own jerky. You people make me sick. Uh, Jordan Peterson, uh-huh. uh, pretty edgy character, only eats red meat. Oh, just exclusively red meat? Yes. That's horrifying. Like he's a African tribesman. That's the only, I don't think they do that. Like he's a Maasai, sure. no, Maasai warriors. Is they only eat they red eat? meat. Yeah. Horrifying. Yeah. Do they have a choice? Or do they... No, they have no choice. They would like to yeah. probably eat other stuff. Well, they're actually just the Maasai yeah. are huge Jordan Peterson fans. So <laughs> they got it from him. Just there. Yeah, they yeah. Yeah. Read yeah. his stuff. I think women are stupid. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. bet the Maasai probably do think that. Oh, well, hey, well, you you have to deal. Well, that was pretty. That was the edgiest thing I think you've ever I mean, said in I, all the episodes. I just feel like a <laughs> tribe of. Decided. You think a tribe of meat eating warriors are also like <laughs> strong <laughs> feminists? That's a good point. I'm not seeing it. That's a good point. Um, Nate, um, what is your favorite food? Southern food or Italian food? Uh, could be Italian food. Uh, cause I, I love, uh, wow. pizza, you know, I, I love pasta. I love Italian food. Uh, Southern food, you know, I mean, I didn't, I didn't really grow up like in that kind of like eating just fried chicken or whatever, you know, collard greens and that kind of stuff. Like, a, we were pretty mainstream. You mentioned eaters. it like my, like I, me being a, a northerner doing a stereotype of the South. Like, yeah. I don't know, like fried chicken or collard greens or what, what barbecue, I don't know, bar, yeah, I, turduckins. Yeah, barbecue. I, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I like barbecue, but I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, I am Southern, but. Yeah, we're not all just doing that down here. You know, we have other foods and uh, a lot of different uh, backgrounds are in the South. Sounds, and, uh, sounds dubious. But if you want to label us all as one group, I get it. You know? I mean, you're, all, you're also a bunch of liars. I know that. So I mean, we got, we got a mix of everything, you know. We <laughs> we'll got see. a mix of everything. We we'll speak see. the truth, we lie, yeah. you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. you do I, I'll be honest with you, I don't even like Italian food, but go ahead. Uh, no, I'm just, that was my lie. I was lying for you. All right. Uh, favorite energy drink? Mountain Dew doesn't count. Uh, Red Bull. I mean, that's. I guess Edge would still be Monster, though. Monster is still. When you see someone, they want a Monster drink. They're getting in a truck. Yeah. Uh, the Monster they, energy drink. Sticker 
on a truck is the it's the de facto uh now that you can't have the 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 rebel flag anymore so it's the monster you think the monster energy uh logo is the new rebel flag yeah what's it called the confederate flag it's the new confederate flag yeah you're not going to get in trouble but we all know what it means (laughs) (laughs) just we know we know what you're about. I think you just yeah. Yeah. a guy who's into dirt biking or no, whatever. No, I don't think so. that's yeah. not what it is. No. Well, people do dirt. Dirt bikers are big monster energy yeah. drinks. They are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got uh, lifted trucks. You got dirt bikes in the back. Then you're going to have the monster sticker on there. Those people yeah. do need a truck. I'll give them that. You know. I agree. All right, is it my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. Uh, Nate, who is? Oh wait, yeah. Who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? Uh, it was always um, Michelangelo. Your party guy. Yeah. 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 He was, I mean, as a kid, he was the funny, he was the fun, funny one. Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, I think he was very popular. I had a friend. <laughs> I think that he liked, was very uh, popular. You mean amongst, yeah. in the turtle universe? <laughs> in the, in the world. Uh-huh. Yeah. Of, you know, uh, I had a friend that liked Raphael or one of them that was more straight laced. That was more along the rules. Uh-huh. That's, that, that's, that's Leonardo. That's Leonardo. Leonardo is Leonardo. The, yeah. Yeah. He's the rules and guy. And uh, Don, what's Donatello? Yeah. He was always, Donatello yeah, was, that would always pick a random one. He would always, he'd pick whatever the one that was like, yeah, no one likes him. So your friend who, uh, who liked Leonardo, is he an accountant Maybe. now? He was a lawyer. Yeah. 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 See, Same. checks out. Yeah. 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 I'm, I was always a Michelangelo guy. I'm a comedian. You're a comedian. Who are you? Who, who'd you like? I'm a Raphael. Oh, you're a bad boy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. I, I, I leave the sewer in a trench coat and go out and cause trouble from yeah, time yeah. to time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Raphael was, was pretty fun, too. So it was like them two were the ones yeah. that were, they were, you know. Raphael was the edgiest. Yeah, I would yeah. think so. If this but, podcast had a it would, digital, it would be Raphael. Yeah. But Michelangelo has, he was edgy, too, in that he had like some, he had a serious partying problem for he, he was, a teenager. He, yeah, you he know? was an alcoholic. He couldn't stop. He was a, he he was a binge eater as well. Yes, yeah. That's yeah, true. He ate a lot of pizza. Yeah. Crazy amount. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Best chain restaurant to get kicked out of? Whew, let's see. This is. Uh, could be i was just talking to my buddy about travis i think you know travis mm-hmm. graham he about oh charlie's we were talking like i was actually gonna try to do this as a joke but like i loved oh Charlie. like chain restaurants like ranch dressing is like a big deal in chain yeah. restaurants yeah. yeah and if you don't have it and run out of it people lose it <laughs> like they, they, it's, it's just such a you can't you know yeah. I might do that as a joke just so as everybody yeah. understands. I don't yeah. think I'm trying material, but I, we just talked about this last night and it made me laugh. Cause it was like, it is a very funny, like the bread or like whatever's free at a chain restaurant. It's like a big deal. And if you, you know, you try to take that away from them. I mean, people just, you know, kids can eat free. Then it's like, well, not anymore. And then they just, I mean, <laughs> these people just go, they come unglued. You're like, you're, you're like, no, that's not the deal, dude. That's not the deal. That's not what's ha- supposed to be happening. Uh-huh. Uh, it's not what I signed on uh, for. It's not what I was promised as an American. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, you know, Buffalo Wild Wings could be good. Oh, yeah. Because mm. it's, it's got a kind of a bar atmosphere. It does. I think you could get. You gotta. You're in the bar. The bar is very, always very deep into the restaurant, so you get dragged out. You kind of have to go out. Yep. To everybody, it's not like they can several families. Shove you out yeah. a side door. Yeah. You have to go to the family section. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you're in that front bar where the TVs are. You get dragged, and it's you got to go through. It's all because the TVs are always at the very back of the restaurant. Yep. So you have to get dragged through the bar where that's probably the fight still going on. Yeah. And then you got to go to like just the little family. That's like, we just were trying to, you know, yeah. we're, we're driving to Kentucky tonight and we just try to get some food <laughs> and they're, and they're in the mix now of, uh, Buffalo your kids are hearing some language that you didn't, you don't care for them to hear. Buffalo Wild uh, Wings has the uh, perfect blend of like families and then men who abandoned their families. Yes. And that's yeah. like 50 50 in the restaurant. And so now you get to pick your section, you know? And then when you get kicked out, you're still not outside. Then you're in like the main concourse of a mall. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you it's a long kick out. Yeah. And then the, the, the mall security has yeah, to they take hand over. You off. 
<laughs> and then yes. they, yeah. And then you get handed off to the cops. There's three groups that has to take care of you. Yeah, it's a big and commitment. Your car's parked on the other side. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. They kind of. And now you're like, oh god, you gotta walk around yeah. like where the dumpster is, and like no one's at. Yeah, you gotta walk all the way around the mall. You're now yeah. you're like on like a a hill with like wood chips. <laughs> you, know, just yeah, just kids. you always get to the that side of the mall where you're like, oh, there's a lot of parking right here, and you're like, yeah, it's because there's no door. <laughs> yeah, 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 mall, yeah, yeah, nowhere yeah. near this area. Yeah. But you're always like, oh, I gotta find a spot right up front. And you're yeah, like, right. Yeah. Well, enjoy walking two miles to yeah. the end. Good luck. Right on those weird narrow sidewalks, they're like w- just enough for two feet. Yeah. That's yeah. their, their stores, is, that's their whole business model. Yeah. It's like uh, Sears knows that you're only going to walk through there because that's the only parking you could get. Yeah, you yeah. got to walk through a Sears to get where you want to go. Cars are, by the way, coming out of everywhere at a mall. People yeah. come through parking spots. I mean, you you don't know where a car is going to come <laughs> from when you go walk through a mall. It's behind <laughs> you. Those arrows don't matter. <laughs> they don't. You know, like it's no. just, it's a zoo out there. Like people are driving the wrong way, backing in on the spot. They're supposed to pull in head first on just to get out. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a mess. Yeah. I walk through a uh, mall parking lots blindfolded as part of my training. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, Nate, what is your favorite all time babe? Or bro, we don't judge. Uh, you know, for my age, I mean, it's probably Pamela Anderson was the oh, you know, Jennifer Aniston that's actually right. is my Jennifer oh, Aniston. Wow, okay, yeah, actually, yeah. not think of it. Pamela Anderson was was big, but then Jennifer Aniston's my all time. Uh, I was always in love with her. Uh, she's yeah, that's my. I'm 41, so that's you know. That's, she was my favorite Friends character. Yeah. Uh, Babe, yeah. for sure. she's definitely a you can you can bring her home to mom and dad uh yeah type more so than pamela anderson but i think pamela anderson would have been my like sexual awakening like probably is like 11 or 12 and you see pamela anderson and you're like what what is what is that yeah I want she, she's that. like a cartoon yeah yeah she's like jessica rabbit yeah, yeah so it like forces you to, your sexuality to wake up like six months earlier than yeah. it should have you're like whoa whoa okay yeah <laughs> oh my yeah now i have a pavlovian response to when i hear the drum opening from baywatch you're right. I get, I'm ready to go. You get a four inch boner. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm very turned on by it. It's yeah. a uh, gigantic show they watch. It was huge. Yes. Kind of crazy. It was crazy. Huge. People like it's it just, and I think it's still on like other countries. It's, oh, yeah. Like, just it's huge. It yes. was big everywhere. Yeah. It was, I mean, they, they just dubbed it. There wasn't a lot of lines. You just got it. Mm-hmm. You understood what was going on. Yeah. There's these babes there. They're trying to yeah. save these losers. And, I mean, it's the easiest pitch yeah. of all yeah. time. It's just like, yeah. hey, what if we put a bunch of hot people on a beach wearing not much? And you're like, okay, I'm on board. I'll, yeah. I'll watch that. It's yeah. funny that they never really did that. You know, how did they not do that again? Like, I know they try to make more Baywatches, but it's like such a simple, but sometimes those simple ideas like that, I mean, there's, it's got to kind of work. You know, like that was, you weren't able to see girls in bathing suits on TV back then as easy. I right. think that's why it didn't work again. It's because like yeah. the internet. There's just too many other options. Back now. then we were like, wow. Yeah. I have never seen a woman's waist. Uh, no, yeah. That's right, right, right. Like ever. And let's not undersell yeah. the power of a David Hasselhoff to, to hold that whole thing together. Yeah. To kind of be the yeah. central nervous system. What if of that the show? centerpiece of the show is a 50 year old man <laughs> with a whatever body? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shirtless the entire time. And that's the counterbalance yeah. yeah. you needed to make it yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah. Do we go shave him down. You're like, no, no, no. As is. No. As, as is. is. As <laughs> is. <laughs> Shoulder hair, too. You bet. <laughs> what you see you is bet. what you get. You bet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. And final question. Of the edgy lightning round, uh, favorite euphemism for sex? Uh, I don't know. Really got him on this one. Yeah, that's yeah. tough. Uh, you know, like banging. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that felt that felt like a like a thirteen year old trying to convince his friends that he's had sex before. If anyone ever had a doubt that you are uh, a naturally a clean comedian, this this sells it. Yeah. This it was not an act. You're not yeah. one of these cl- clean comedians. You're not like no. Bill Cosby, like in the like when, as soon as the lights go off, you're like fucking. Oh, you know, yeah. dude, you're just like. I'm banging. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was actually Cocaine. adorable. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. heard that once on TV. <laughs> 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 Mar- Marlboro? <laughs> Mar- Mar- Marlboro? Is that a thing? Great work. Yeah. Um, all right. All let, right. So we've got to tabulate here between tabulate one here and five kettlebells. So oh. Please bear with us. So, uh, wow, I like that he jumped right to cocaine. That was, right. Uh, went straight to cocaine. Straight to cocaine. That Just was good. jumping over everything else is good. I like the pronunciation of, of Marlboro. That seemed very uh, authentic. Extra points for yeah. sure. Blank yeah. Space is a great Taylor Swift song. I yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, went with oh, getting kicked out of a Buffalo Wild Wings is classic. That edge. was good. Yeah, we haven't had that one sure. before. Michelangelo, we know he's a party guy. I like that. Huge drinking problem. Yeah. Um, and banging. Yes, banging. Straight to the point. Straight to the point. Yeah. <laughs> We're not playing around with pleasantries <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah. For me, I know what I know what I what my score is. I'm saying a full five. Five kettlebells. Five kettlebells, kettlebells. Oh, five kettlebells yeah. for Nate, who, yeah. who's brought the edge. So he waited yeah. as the edge passed him by, knowing the edge is going to come right back mm-hmm. to guys like yeah, me. He's sit. like an athlete who slows sit. the game down yeah. to, to yeah. his pace. That's right. That's absolutely so Tiger Woods right. doing golf. Tiger Woods, he would let, you, he let them they'd get ahead, but he knows they're going to come back. He always and, knows. And I'll just stay here, and then I'll pound them. Yeah, that's, that's right. You just know. motor. And nothing Thank says you. edgy like a golf analogy is what mm-hmm. I always yeah. say. Mm-hmm. Pure Tiger edge. Woods. <laughs> Tiger Woods is the, is the edgiest golfer. Pretty edgy. That's I true. mean, that is undisputed. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Who's he up against? You know, Phil Mickelson? Freddie Wait, Couples? John Daly. John Daly. John Daly. Was pretty oh, John Daly yeah. was the best. John, oh, my God. John Daly yeah. legit had the shakes. He was so much putting. fun, but he could hit yeah. the hell. I just hammered 400-yard drives. God bless him. He would leave... He would, John Daly would, uh, there's a few tournaments he just walked off <laughs> in the middle of the tournament. And one's, one of them, he just keeps hitting the ball into the water until he's out of balls. <laughs> and then uh, he's got a cigarette, turns, walks off with his girlfriend and her kid. <laughs> and she's flipping off everybody like everybody's like mad and she's like you don't talk to him like that and, like, and he's just got that blonde hair yeah. just oh. those those pants and you know very noticeable what yeah, a and hero. we just leave did you guys I've, I've seen him on a golf course and uh his shoulder was messed up and so he was just hitting one-handed like and just smooth i mean just smooth yeah. shots. Like, it's crazy. He's as talented as he is. He's one uh, of the most talented golfers, they say. Because yeah. yeah. he's such a disaster in every other yeah. aspect of golfing. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he seems like he probably is the type of guy who loves his kid, so I don't want to talk about his personal life. But like, No, his kid is uh, uh, going to Arkansas to play uh, golf. His kid's a really good golfer. Oh, yeah. That oh, makes sense. Great. Yeah. 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 But he's and, just and like... And they play together. I don't see him... You know, he Obviously, diet, not good. Uh, drinking, not great. Not great. Yeah. And yeah. probably not practicing a lot. He's just a pure talent. He's just good, yeah. yeah. There's a story with him... Uh, if, same story like he's during one of the major championships or something and after they play the first round he goes to the bar and he's just sitting there drinking at the bar at the hotel or something yeah somewhere and he's drinking tiger walks by and he goes tiger he's like come on sit down and have a beer with me man he's like and tiger's like i'm gonna go work out he's like just finally have a beer with me he's like he's like you're not gonna drink man and he's uh and tiger's like uh, he's like i had to go practice and he's like you're not gonna drink and then uh Tiger's like, well, if I had your talent, then I wouldn't have to go practice. And mm-hmm. he walked away. Yeah. It was like a serious, yeah. you know, it's like, it was like real serious to be like, if I was as talented as you, I wouldn't. Like, right. that's how talented of a guy John Daly was to do what he did with, you know, basically just winging it. Right. Two like majors. Drinking, two majors, smoking cigarettes, Diet Cokes, you know. I mean, it, it's pretty wild. Beers, also, it beers be, while he's playing. It should be noted that after that exchange, Tiger Woods just went and slept with a diner waitress. Yeah, or something. yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I got to practice. For, uh, yeah. I got to practice. He had his own problems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, you've right. proven edgy enough uh, to hang for the, our next section uh, called our scalding hot takes. Scalding hot takes. Burn me, Daddy. 
Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, so in this section, Graham and I, we have some scalding hot takes for you, and you mm-hmm. can help us uh, heat them up. You can, you might have your own scalding hot take to jump in on. Uh, okay. So here we go. My, uh, I'll go first. Uh, my first uh, scalding hot take. Uh, you know how when you're uh, flying and they'll they'll give you the little preamble, the the warning of like uh, blah 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 exits here. Put on your own oxygen mask before assisting others. Oh, this is going to be edgy. And then it shows like a parent and the kid. And then it shows the parent putting on an oxygen mask while their mm-hmm. dying kid looks up at them. Mm-hmm. I, I think if you if you follow that advice, if you put your own oxygen mask on before your, your kids, you should have your kid taken away from you. Yes. I think you should absolutely lose the rights to parent that kid. If you put the oxygen mask... If you mask, put your own oxygen yeah. mask on first yeah. while your four-year-old is confused yeah. and terrified, unable to breathe, and you're like, daddy's got to yeah. take care of himself first, they told us you should lose your children. They're basically like, please be a human being. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But wouldn't the edge... The edge would be to do it the other way. Well, you, you're breaking you the rule, right? put it on you and then put it on another kid, then put it on your own kid. That would so be the actually, ed- th- Yes. That would be the edgier way. They, yeah. I mean, they tell you to do that so you don't pass out. Yeah. Right? That's the reasoning. That is so the you reasoning. pass it out and then you give it to your kid. No, that's the reasoning. I get it. I still feel like I would be your uh, instincts would be like, let me take care of the kid first before taking care of myself. So it's you pretty edgy what he's doing. He's edgy because he's saying he doesn't want to follow the rules. I'm breaking the rules. I'm skirting the rules. You're breaking the rules. Yeah. 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 Uh, but you're doing it in the safe way of saying I'm protecting the kids. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. This is uh, which take you know you're gonna lose the, some points. I feel that. like an edge can't be like you think you're doing the right way. I think for the first time ever, a guest is taking away one of your kettlebells. Yeah, I've lost a kettlebell yeah. here. Yeah. This is unexpected. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> You're flipping the whole thing on us. Hey, don't don't book this edge, all right? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, man. Yep. Uh, Don't uh, come to the fire pit. Don't expect to get burnt. I think you would pass out because you would be trying to explain that to them without putting your own mask on. Yes. Excuse me. As the guy's frantic, he's trying to put mask on. You're like, I think you should no. put yours on your kid first. Yeah, to be yeah. Honest. That's what I use the last of my oxygen. Off yeah. You don't have. You forgot about your mask. Well, I need to go make a point. Yeah. Here. This is no time better than right now. <laughs> Please yeah. tell Nate Bargassi <laughs> what happened here. Tell him he was right. <laughs> 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 Are you my grandpa? <laughs> All right, here's another here's another edgy take coming right at you. Buckle up. Um, in the past year, my grocery store has stopped providing bags, uh-huh. and instead, you have to buy one of those like tote bags. Okay, and they're made of plastic, and they've got handles, and they're heavy duty, and they cost like. A uh, dollar or two dollars. Okay. But I never remember to bring them to when I go grocery shopping. So I'm always buying these bags. Uh-huh. And there probably got to be at least six regular plastic bags to make this bag. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're bad for the environment. I think they're a money grab. Pretty edgy. Yeah. They're supposed to save the environment. I think they're worse. You think they're worse? Because most people grocery shopping are stupid. So how many of these uh, giant plastic bags do you have? I got about 70 of them. My whole kitchen (laughs) is these plastic bags. I can't throw them out because I don't want to be a monster. Uh Yeah. Well, so the edge you should do Hmm. is sit right at the end of that counter and sell your bags for half the price. Oh, I'm running that down. There we go. That's good. I mean, good I mean, I don't think there's a rule against that. They're going to try to tell you that there is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you got to go, well, what's the rule? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what's the law? You I show me know. that rule I've written anywhere in here. <laughs> tell me. So yeah, it says, yeah. I can't tell sell my own plastic bags <laughs> in this grocery store. Man, I got to make been like. been tricking me for years. <laughs> 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 I, get, I get kicked out of the grocery store. Uh-huh. I mean, that'll be almost as bad as a Wild Wing. But. I mean, you're going to be super. You walking up to cars before they go in. Hey, you, did you figure your bag today? I saw you my bag. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. He's not knocking on windows. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> bag? Yeah. bag? 50 cents. Yeah. We are, uh, my yeah. comedy career is going in that direction. <laughs> that might be my, my main source of income. Oh, we, we got we got some heat. We, well, do, we got a bit of heat going. Got a lot of heat on this. A lot of this. heat. 
A got a lot of, of people on YouTube. Uh, a lot of people in Turkey. A lot of people in YouTube. Turkey huge, watching the YouTube. Huge of this. fan base in Turkey. Yeah, we don't know why. But, so, Nate, uh, uh, you get ready for a big bump in your numbers in uh, Istanbul. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ankara. I've been to Istanbul. Oh, yeah? Huh? Well, next time you go, you'll be able to sell out a theater thanks to this yeah. podcast. Oh, you'll be able to sell the uh, Blue Mosque. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing? Uh, you're like, cool. Mil- whipped cream. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Scalding hot take. Uh, everything, This the, the first part, this is lukewarm. Everything's too political now. Politics has ruined everything. Uh, but the worst part about politics having ruined everything is that uh, Don Jr. and Hunter Biden can't be best friends. And they're, they're supposed to be best friends. Yeah. These are two guys who yeah. should be bumping rails together. They should probably yes. be burying the body of a hooker they accidentally yes. killed and then each yes. calling their respective fathers they to didn't be like, have the right I cocaine. need your help. Yes. Yeah. They had and, the bad uh, cocaine. The world has separated them, and these are guys who should be the best of friends. That's a good take, I think. I'm just sad about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, that is actually good. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good edge take. They could combine. Yes. Yeah. I got a kettlebell you back. You got a kettlebell back. <laughs> yeah. Got a, yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. All right. Um, here's my take. Modern country music is just regular pop music, but with an accent. I think it's yeah. all a lie. I mean, it's it's thematically though, like sound wise, it has shifted that way. But it is like there, all the pop country songs are hitting on the same themes of like the good stuff, the dirt road, the the blue jeans. I think that's what separates it. But it is just like an offshoot of pop. Yeah, like you're almost like saying like is pop coming over to pop is more going the way of country music. Like who was first? Is pop going the way of well, I think country you, music? Or I mean, I, I, I haven't been a musicologist for a few years. <laughs> but I think if you listen to pop music 20 years ago, and you listen, or 25 years ago, and you listen to country music now, they sound similar. But if you listen yeah. to country music 25 years ago, it sounded more different. Yeah, I think that's true. I think that, I, I would say that's right. You're not going to hear like a pop country song, like a boot scootin' boogie. Yeah, now, like you might have. Yeah, to what, like it has turned. It is just one. Like it's, Alan Jackson, right? Stuff. Yeah, country, country. It's Taylor Swift who is country, right? Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Because no one's going there in a cowboy hat. There's it's, no cowboy hat. There's no cowboy hats anymore. It's, ba- it's baseball caps now, right? Like yeah. cowboy hats have been replaced by oh, baseball yeah. caps. The whole thing yeah. has shifted. There's this kid, uh, Kane Brown, I think his name is. Yeah. He's like a maybe mixed race, maybe black, but like he wears streetwear. Uh, and then has like this does country and it's like I think that's just the few we're all melding we're all going to be Kane Brown in a few years we're all going to be like we're all going to come together like mixed race people wearing streetwear singing country is the future of of this country maybe Hunter Biden Eric Trump will finally come together they might they might happen it might finally happen they're working their way back to each other like they're walking (laughs) down hallways like merge back in yeah um all right, this is this is a this is my last and final, but I, I I feel like it's a pretty hot take. Okay. If you're not a farmer and you own a pickup truck, it's because you're at least a little little bit homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I don't want to own a Prius. Uh huh. I want people to know. Yeah. I got a, I got a big piece. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. I like, I give it to women. So you know what I mean. I don't. There are aggressive names in trucks now as well, like the Raptor. You know, Ford Raptor. The Titan. The, the Ram. Yeah. yeah, Ram. That's my, that's my hot take. Pretty hot. Pretty hot. Yeah, it's a pretty hot take. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a guy that someone that wants trucks. You're like, I think you're homophobic. Yeah. All of you. That's definitely, yeah, all, yeah, all of you. Lumping them all in. But if you're just going from your your suburban driveway to a highway to a Chili's to a Home Depot. Mm -hmm. If you're going to Home Depot, you might need that truck. I I wish I didn't say Home Depot immediately when I said it. (laughs) But you can't because you got a truck and the guy's like, yeah, man, I go to Home Depot more than you think. Yeah. But they're like. Uh, Well, the thing in trucks are like, they're almost like having an SUV now. And then like, you know, they have like the four seats in the back it's crazy like but the, yeah but uh, the whole cab in the back they're all pristine they all have like the snaps the leather snaps over the top 
Yeah. You know, then you look under there, like it's not, not one scratch, up. not one scratch. <laughs> They've not one hammer has been dropped in there. Well, they were definitely like marketed that way to a degree, like the old Ford, like, like a rock, you know, mm-hmm. I never think about dudes in mm-hmm. my own time. You know, that kind of yeah. like, that commercial. I thought oh, I was like, I, that's a little on the that nose. That song was a bit I much. Thought, yeah. A little, little obvious. Uh, okay. My <laughs> final Scalding hot take. Uh, <laughs> I love looking over at Nate and just watching his bomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. uh-huh. uh, All right, guys. Okay, cool. Y'all do it great, though. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. It's uh, smooth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like it's been like done before. Almost. We're well practiced yeah. at this. Yeah. This is not our first uh, rodeo. Uh, okay. Last scalding hot take is that everyone in this royal family drama sucks. There's no winners here. I feel like uh, the popular mm. kids are trying to be like, Megan and Harry are so cool. They were treated so badly but uh mm-hmm. everyone sucks here like them mm-hmm. leaving could have been a cool powerful statement but they uh moved to tyler perry's mansion in malibu did they yes yeah. and they're like trying to sell merch and start like a production company and they're just like every rich kid who moved to la i thought they moved to canada no 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 they they were like briefly but no. they're like they're in yeah. tyler perry's malibu they're like, mansion there's they, a winter they ain't stay, yeah they ain't stay at the holiday Inn express exactly yeah, yeah like they i mean they went to yeah tyler perry is a billionaire yes and they went to his you know i mean basically probably a house on his you know he probably has just yeah. the guest house that's like a you know it's like it's not even, it's the mansion that he's just not using. It's some $30 million mansion that he's like, you guys crashed here. And so it's like, it's just, it's not like rebellious or cool what they're doing. They're just doing rich kid shit. Yeah. 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 That's the, that's the hard part. When I think when everybody watched that is like, it was, uh, it's very rich people trying to make you worry about their problems. And they, they, they went to Tyler Perry's house and you know, <laughs> yeah. there's, there's actual homeless people on the street. Right. Yeah, you know, that are going through stuff. Trying to climb over like, the walls of Tyler Perry's house yeah. to eat food. <laughs> yeah, just throw your food over. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a uh, yeah. I could, I could definitely see that. How it's all just you know, it's all kind of a mess. Well, see, Princess Die. Yeah, was pr- edgy. I think. Yeah. Now, not that I remember her completely. I remember when she died. I was. You uh, loved her. You had all the the. My mom loves the all silverware. That you yeah. got the that's, memorial. Uh, most most moms are. I mean, way into it. Yeah. Every <laughs> funeral, wedding. Yeah. yeah. I mean, moms, moms loved. Out. You and I are sort of the same age. Moms loved Princess Die. Prince, the Princess Die. Yeah. Yeah. That the Elton, whole thing. The Elton John song. No, how many? How many oh, cassettes yeah. did that sell? The wedding, <laughs> the funeral. It's. Huh. I mean, it's kind of. It's a Cinderella kind mm-hmm. of yeah. thing. And uh, yeah, I mean, but she mom, was it. Mean, she was my out moms there. Moms watched every. She's watched The Crown. She's watched. She knows all about that stuff. Mm. She's watched everything. You know, it's uh, yeah. Princess Die was would have been edgy. That's the thing with Meghan Markle. Like now, their edge as it is. You're like, you went to. You're the most famous people ever. You're gonna even if they write you off, you're gonna come here and then Netflix is gonna give you a hundred million dollars. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like you're. You, I don't. I don't even know if you're gonna have a a day with your bank account zero. Right. It's just not going to happen. No, no. it's always going to be rich. And being a grown adult complaining about being cut off by your family is also pathetic and embarrassing. Yes, yeah. that's a good point. You know, my, the queen cut me out. And the fact that it's the queen, the whole thing. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. every immigrant family has been cut off by their family. <laughs> At some point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah. Every, uh, like, every comedian's been cut off. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but I will say going from being a case girl on deal or no deal, like Meghan Markle was to publicly feuding with the queen of England is an impressive come up it for, is, sure. Yeah. for sure. For <laughs> sure. I didn't it's, know that. That's yeah. some steps. Yeah. That's yeah. some, uh, you, you, you took some steps to get to there. I mean, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's the real deal, dude. That's a leap. That that's is a, a huge leap. leap. That was one. I mean, of- you're above the owner of the show. Yeah. She- you go from just holding a case to if the guy that made the show, you would be like, don't talk to me. Yeah, I'm a, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. She leapfrogged Howie Mandel hard. Power move on yeah. Howie, and the producer. Powerful in another country. <laughs> yeah, you went to another country, and you're now above everybody there. Like you're, yeah, that's true. It's, I, mean, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how you make that. Yeah, you're gonna be you're so above, famous. The whole you country. Go, the whole and they country, got a deal or like, no deal over there. And guess what? She's above them too. <laughs> she's above them. She has guys to carry cases. That's right. Yeah. And it's just, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That was one hell of a party. Where she met, like a very important party where she met him. Yeah, and she capitalized yeah. big ah. time. 
Man, I mean, big, yeah. 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 I mean, she did, uh, yeah. Oprah. <laughs> oh, she, Oprah talking to her. Doesn't get bigger. That's where I saw, like, people, like, a uh, meme of people complaining, like, but saying, like, his net worth was, like, 50 million. Hers is two. Oprah's got two billion dollars. <laughs> yeah. And we're all just watching, like, God, these guys got it so rough, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they just, I don't know. <laughs> like, oh, it's just a hassle, you yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh, okay, Nate, do you have any uh, edgy advice for us? Graham and I are trying to be more edgy. We're trying mm-hmm. to go after this edgy podcast cash. Uh, mm-hmm. Any advice to We're help us? We're trying to get oh, people just to follow us blindly. Yes, we want blind yeah. followers. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, you got to just make, uh, you got to just say the opposite of whatever whatever you feel the mainstream is. You're going to have to just go the opposite. That's the way you got to do it. There's a, that's, you know, I think the guys that do that, that's what they do. You got your own opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know, look at Piers Morgan, right. With the Meghan Markle went a, completely against that, got fired from the show. That's how you get, that's how you go edge. That's the edge. Now it used to be the other way. And I think the edge changes, yeah. you know, it used to, you know, it, it was, you know, it was almost like celebrities used to always like attack the president or the government or whatever. And now sometimes it feels like they're in with them. And they, they they praise them in other ways, and they take not with Trump, but whatever. So as far as like edge goes, in an honest answer, yeah. you just got to go against whatever you feel the cool kids are are saying. That's where the edge is at, which is where most comedians should live. To be honest, that's what uh, comedians are. Uh, George Carlin, all like that's what they did. They went right. against the you know back then was Reagan Republican. They went against that. And that was what they, and so now you can't be a comedian and be like, why well, the president's wonderful and the government's doing a great job. Like that's, well, that's not the, that's not an edgy person. You know, you're just kind of be like going along with the mainstream. Right. 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 Yeah. We, yeah. we have in our previous careers, we both were big champions of industry and big, time. Yeah. big corporations and, and, and any, any president who ever got in there, we were like, we like this guy. You're this our, is leader. our guy. Yeah. You're yeah. our guy. Yeah. We need yeah. tax cuts. Uh, we need some ease these restrictions on cigarettes a little bit. We're trying to sell them at schools. That was a big part of what we were doing. Yeah, that's how we made uh, a lot of money. Yeah, but yeah, but uh, yeah, no, that's good. Good advice. Go with uh, it Go is like every corporation. That would be you know. Whatever, whatever they do, just mm. say no. I, I will say Any sponsor. No, yeah. it is no, no. Stamps.com. No. Fuck you. Stamps. No, well, <laughs> not on my you, watch. You go, your sponsors have got to be just like, you know, a lot of CBD. No, oh, yeah. Know, just yeah. like kind of random uh, monster. If y'all could get monster. Uh, there, no, I, we email there, them no. every day. We send one a day. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, they haven't written back yet, but any day now. It's a Gmail account. It's, it's weird. It I is, thought yeah. that it's a Gmail it account. It is weird, yeah. But Monster Turkey will probably get right back to us. Yes. We are huge there. Yeah. All right, well. Find out, find out who turkeys, I mean, you know, who do they, they hate the most? <laughs> <laughs> go. It's Armenians is the answer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, then go hard on them. You got to know where your, your bread's being buttered, right? Like, gosh, the, World's the number one Armenian. anti-Armenian podcast. What's the deal with these fucking Armenians? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just reading like a Wikipedia page about Armenia. Oh, my oh. God. Did you hear about the war of 1604? <laughs> Jerks. Uh, but yeah. congratulations your independence in 1913, yeah. dorks. Yeah. Uh, I doubt it. Uh, all right. Well, Nate, thank you so much for uh, joining us. We appreciate you. Uh, this It feels ridiculous to ask you if you have anything to plug on this podcast, but uh, if there is anything you'd new like special. to plug. I do. He's got a new yeah. special coming out. Yes. A new special coming out. So uh, when's this going to come out? Uh, March. special is March 18th, so I don't know when this will be out, but... Uh, that's Netflix, the greatest average American. Uh, so yes, everybody go watch that. That's the that's the plug. That's amazing. I uh, can't wait to see it. Um, I've seen little. We, we, you're doing some. You're doing a lot of the material. I mean, you just had a. You had two specials. So you're doing a lot of the material that you were doing when I was opening for you before the pandemic. Yeah. 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 yeah all all of that. So great. Awesome. It's so great. It's so funny. It's so, it's like, it was already ready back then. So I can't wait to see how far he's taken and it. Then and we did no comedy and now we put it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A good, a good year like, to breathe. Ready to go and then we stopped huh. practicing it for one year. And then I said, let's do it. Yeah. He said, well, he, he took one, did, he did one, one uh, set in front of a mirror and he was like, 
Yeah, I got yeah, this. That's good. Yeah, I'm good I to go. Uh, also, uh, this is true. I did a Just for Laughs special that was only available available in Canada, and on March 19th, it's coming out in America. Yeah. Uh, so I challenge you, Nate Bargatze, yeah, uh, to see uh, who gets um, more more press, <laughs> uh, more buzz, more buzz. Out yeah. of our out of our specials, so All right. buckle I'm up. It's a big... I'm ready for it. Well, they, you have Edge. People like Edge right now. That's I'm right. Not, I'm not Mr. Edge, so mm-hmm. uh, it's you. So yeah. Okay, and yet somehow you still got five yeah. kettlebells. So, yeah, somehow. Uh, yeah, you know, I can, I can, you know, I can snake. I figure, I figure ways out. He's uh-huh. a five tool player. He's a five tool player. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Uh, all right. Thank you so much, Nate. We appreciate you. Thanks so much, man. Absolutely. Thank y'all. Well, that was great. I think we learned a lot. We sure did. Yeah. Edgier than, than some might think he is. Yes. He is a five-tool, uh, I guess, person. He waited patiently for the edge to come back to him. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know what? Bold move uh, showing up to a place as edgy as this in a Nike golf baseball cap that says, I don't I don't care what you think edge is. I'm redefining so edge. So badass. Yeah. And I also like that he argued... To get kettlebells back. That's true. You know, he was fighting for his kettlebells. And in some ways, trying to question my uh, edge status, trying to take kettlebells from me. Yeah, he was. He was, yeah. I, I you know, he, the fact that he cucked you publicly on your own podcast. Yeah, this is true. It's quite edgy. This so, is true. Uh, go check out a, a Neighbor Gatsy special. Uh, I've seen, I've seen it live. He kills. It's so funny. You're going to like it. And um, on a lesser note, uh, check out my special the following day, March 19th. Yeah. On YouTube, on the Just for Laughs comedy channel. It won't be on my YouTube channel. Just for Laughs YouTube channel. So they're making a couple bucks off of you. Yeah, they're making they're making that sweet cash. Yeah, well, I hope so. Uh-huh. Yeah. They, they're trying to get it on the edge lord's cash that's right they're yeah. trying to yeah they're gonna need to promote it this video is gonna go wild in turkey i know it is yeah the special is going to <laughs> blow like, up we got so many views in turkey <laughs> uh and uh also like and subscribe yes. guys if you haven't already uh if you're watching this on youtube right now uh you know do, hit the thing it's over there i think is it yeah. there i think it's there it's there the window is here. It's down there. Hit it's the that. bell. It's free. And if you're uh, just listening on the podcast, please subscribe, rate, and review. Give us a five-star review. Uh, you can say whatever you want. We'd like you to say it helped women respect my power. Yes. But just give us a five-star review. You just scroll down after the episodes, and then it's got a little thing, and you just press five stars. And if you like this podcast, for the love of God, tell tell a friend about it. Tell your family about it. Tell your coworkers about it. Let people know. Tell your elderly mother about it someone needs to it's like i always say at the end of every episode as we always say fuck fuck you. you